In this video today, I'm gonna to explain to you how to get set up on Twitch. I managed to get set up on Twitch within one week, only using the equipment within this room right here. So it's gonna be nice and easy for you guys too. By the end of this video, you should know how to get set up on Twitch and how to start streaming. I will leave timestamps in the description so you can choose what you would like to watch. But I do suggest that you watch the video all the way through to get the best value and all the information. Let's get into it. What's going on people? I go by the name of DJ CB and I help bedroom DJs transition over to a club DJ. If you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. Just before we start, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button down below, it would really help me out. You smashing that like button down below really tells the YouTube algorithm that you lot like this video. If you lot like this video, then it will get pushed out to more people. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set a target of 10 likes for this video. So a little backstory. I was providing a live stream on Instagram for people People for about three months straight. Every single Friday at 8 p.m. I would live stream to people on Instagram and just play some old school R&B because that was the only thing that didn't get locked off by the copyright. Then after some time, I did notice some DJs moving over to Twitch. But then I started thinking, do I really want to move over to Twitch because setting up everything is so long. You got to set up OBS, you got to set up another camera, you got to set up the audio. I just found it very, very long. But after following the steps that I'm going to show you in this video, it's actually not that complicated and it's really easy. The main reason why I wanted to move over to Twitch was to provide a good service for my viewers. Every single week on Instagram, I'd either get cut off by the copyright, people couldn't join the stream, or the audio would just sound terrible to the viewers. So I made a decision to move over to Twitch. So now I'm gonna explain to you exactly what you need to get set up. So the first thing you're gonna need is a decent computer. I'm streaming off a Mac mini and the specs are Mac mini 2018, three gigahertz, six core Intel Core i5, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. That is all you really need to get started. Started. I don't think you need all of that, but my Mac mini runs my stream perfectly. My Mac doesn't sound like it's about to take off. It doesn't overheat or anything. So I think these are perfect specs for streaming on Twitch. I do suggest that you use another computer and not your DJ laptop for streaming because OBS uses a lot of CPU. So if you're running Serato DJ, for example, as well as OBS, your computer will literally sound like it's about to take off. The fans will start to go mad and then the laptop will start to overheat, which will cause your CPU usage to go up so it could affect your stream or it could affect your DJ software. So I do suggest that you use a separate computer for running OBS. The second thing you're gonna need is a 1080p camera. The reason why I say 1080p is because most DJs output their streams in 720p onto Twitch anyway. So you don't need to have a massive 4K camera because it will just make your computer stress out even more when it's running on OBS. So I suggest you just go onto Amazon and buy a cheap 1080p camera. I was lucky enough to already have a camera at home so I didn't have to buy it, but I'll leave the link down in the description down below to the camera that I'm using. The reason why I say buy a cheap camera is because when you first start something new like Twitch or YouTube, you don't know where it's gonna take you or where it's gonna go. So you don't wanna go spend thousands of pounds on a camera for you to give up next week. Buy something cheap, see how it goes, and in the future you can invest in a more expensive camera if you start to do well on Twitch. The third thing you're gonna need is lighting. Lighting is so important on Twitch. I can't explain to you how bad it is to watch a stream and there's no lighting, where you can't see the DJ or anything like that. I'm lucky to have two ring lights which I use for my YouTube videos, which I also use for my Twitch live streams. I'll leave a link down in the description down below to the ring lights that I use. You only really need one, but obviously the more you have, the better lighting you have, the better your visuals will look. The fourth thing you need is good audio. Whatever you do, do not use the audios directly from your phone. Make sure you use a separate audio device like a iRig or something like that. I will leave a link down in the description down below to the audio device that I use. I bought an iRig off Amazon for seven pounds and that has been doing me since I've been doing my Instagram live streams all the way onto Twitch now. All I do is plug in the iRig out of the back of my mixer straight into my Mac mini and then the audio goes straight from my mixer to Twitch. It's literally the best thing and all I've got to do is spend seven pounds. A lot of people said, why didn't you buy the iRig too? Why? It still does the same thing. It doesn't provide any better audio. So do not break the bank, people. I will leave the link down in the description down below to the iRig that I use. The next thing you're gonna need is a decent internet connection. When you're streaming, Twitch is obviously using internet connection. If you have a bad internet connection, your stream is gonna look laggy and terrible. So if you're on something like Virgin Media, like I am with a 200 megabyte speed, you're gonna be good. But if you're using some budget internet connection, then streaming might not be for you. Because when you watch the stream back, 
lagged, you'll see connection drops, you'll see laggy connection. You do not want that for your stream. You want to provide a good experience for your viewers. So make sure that you have a decent internet connection. Also make sure that you're using a wired connection. A wireless connection is good if you have a strong internet connection, but for Twitch, I do suggest that you use wired ethernet connection. I have a 30 meter cable running from downstairs all the way into this room so I can stream with Twitch with, with a wired connection. I'll leave a link down in the description down below to the 30 meter cable that I purchased. And lastly, the most important thing that you're gonna need to stream on Twitch is a Twitch account, which I'm gonna go through right now in the next step. Right, so right now we're on the Twitch homepage. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create an account. If you go to the top right hand corner, we'll go over to sign up. Then what you need to do is think of a username. For the video purpose, we're just gonna do YouTube DJCB test. Yeah, then we're gonna think of a password. Then we're gonna confirm our password. Then we're gonna whack in our date of birth. And then we're gonna put in an email address. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press sign up now. So what it's asking now is to verify your email address. So what you need to do is head over to your email address and grab the verification code. I'm just gonna go grab that now. So once you've grabbed your code, just paste it into here. And now it's just gonna verify your email address with your Twitch account. And there we have it. We have our brand new Twitch account set up. If you go to the top right hand corner, you can go to your channel and then here's your channel for your new Twitch account. So what we're gonna do next is download OBS and get you set up on OBS. Right, so what you wanna do is head over to Google and type in OBS into the search. Then what you wanna do is click the first link. You'll then be taken over to the OBS website. Depending on what computer you have, you wanna download the specific version. So you've got Windows or Mac or Linux. I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna download the Mac version. Then this will download to your computer. I've already got OBS installed, so I don't need to go through the install process, but it's simply, you click in the installation package, then it's gonna come up with this window here. If you're using a Mac, you drag it into the applications folder, then you go through the setup process. Once you go through the setup process, you'll then have OBS installed in your computer then all you'll need to do is open up OBS. You'll then be prompted with this window and this screen. So the first thing you wanna do is just sort out the auto configuration wizard. So we're gonna optimize for streaming, recording is secondary. Then we're gonna click next. And then we're gonna keep all the settings the exact same, then press next. And then we're gonna ignore this bit for now, we're gonna set this up later. So we're just gonna press cancel. So now this is the OBS window. It looks a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna get you through this in real honesty, it's really simple. So what we're gonna do next is set up the audio. So we're gonna get our audio from our DJ mixer or controller and then direct it into our computer, into OBS. Right, so before you even set up the audio in OBS, you're gonna need two things. An iRig, which is from Amazon for $7.99. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. And you're gonna need a TRS to TRS cable. So I've got this one here. And as you can see, both of the cables are the same on each of the ends. So what you'll do is you'll plug this end into the back of your mixer, then this into the bottom of the iRig, and then this will go into your computer. If you guys didn't understand that, I'm gonna show you a demonstration right now. Right, so as you can see on the back of my mixer, I've got two outputs for the TRS. So I'll simply plug in one end of the TRS into here, and then I'll plug the iRig into my computer. So this will work for any DJ mixer, any Pioneer DJ mixer, you should have these two outputs. Most controllers do have these two outputs as well. If you have a controller that only has RCA out, you're gonna have to get an RCA to TRS cable to then plug into the iRig, to then plug into your computer. Like I said, first of all, you plug this end into the back of your mixer, and then with this end here, you're gonna plug it straight into the back of your computer. So let's head over to the computer now. So as you can see, I've got the end of my iRig here. I'm just gonna plug it into the back of my Mac mini. And there we have it. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to add the audio into OBS. Right, so we're back in OBS now. And as you can see, we have nothing in here whatsoever. So in order to add the audio, you come down to here to this plus icon in the sources part. Then you click audio input capture. Give it a name, so just put in Serato Audio and then click OK. Then what you'll do, you'll get given this properties window. Simply click on device and then the iRig will come up as an external microphone. If you click that and then press OK. So now you have your Serato Audio coming from your mixer into the computer into OBS. So as you can see, it's just jumping up and down because I think it's just something like a little bit of sound from the iRig. But what I'm gonna do now is just put some sound on in my Serato now so you can see it actually working. 
So as you can see, it's gone a bit red, so the levels might be a bit higher. So all you need to do is just adjust the booth on your mixer, and then there you have it. As you can see, it's going up. If I stop it, it comes all the way back down. Again, comes up, down. So there we have it. That's how you get the audio from your mixer into your computer into OBS and then add in the audio source. What we're gonna do now is add the video source so you can add your webcam into OBS. Right, so before you get any visuals into Twitch, you need to go ahead and buy yourself a webcam. I bought this webcam on Amazon for about 20 pounds. It's a 1080p camera and it's been doing me well for the past, I think it's about two months I've been on Twitch now. Haven't had any problems, the quality is good. So if you want this camera that I'm using right now, I'll leave the link down in the description down below. So I don't really need to demonstrate on how to plug this into your computer because simply all you need to do is plug in this USB into the back of your computer. So what I'm gonna do now is demonstrate how to add your video source into OBS. Right, so now we're back in OBS. In order to add the video to OBS, all you need to do again is press the plus button, go to video capture the device, and then you gotta rename your device, so just put in webcam and click OK. So when you come to this page, it's gonna be blank. If you've connected your USB webcam incorrectly, all you need to do is click the drop down, and then your camera should appear. So if I click this now, you'll now see me on the webcam. But as you can see right now, the motion is a bit kind of laggy. So what you need to do is go down to the preset and then press high. So as you can see now, it's a lot more fluid. So if I go back to 1280, it's a bit, you know, laggy. Go down to high, it's a lot better. So all you need to do now is simply go to OK. And now your video source is now attached to your OBS. So that's pretty much it. So what we're gonna do now is set up your Twitch account to be connected to your OBS. So when you press start streaming down in the bottom right hand corner, it will then go live onto Twitch. Right, now we're in OBS. There's a few things we need to change in order to get this connected to our Twitch stream. So if you head over to OBS at the top and then press preferences, you get brought up with this settings window. So the first place you need to go to is video. Make sure that these settings are here. It's 1920 by 1080 is the base resolution and then the output resolution is going to be 720. This will allow your stream to output to Twitch and not put too much stress on your computer. So make sure that you have these settings under the video tab. Then you want to go over to output. So the most common video bit rate that we have for Twitch is 6000. So what you want to do is just change this to 6000 and then that's it. And then the last thing you need to do is head over to the stream tab. And then what you need to do is you need to go to your Twitch account and grab your stream key and then paste it into here. So we're gonna head over to my Twitch account that I created in this video at the start. So in order to find your Twitch stream key, all you need to do is come over to your channel on Twitch, click the top right hand corner, click create a dashboard, head over to the left hand side, click settings, and then stream. We're gonna copy it. I'm keeping it blank for obvious purposes. We're gonna copy it, then head back over to OBS and then paste it into here. And that's all you need to do. So now, when we press start streaming in the bottom right hand corner, this visual that we have on the screen right now will output to Twitch. And it will also come with the audio as well. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate a test live stream next. So right now, we're in OBS. We're ready to start streaming. We've got our visuals ready. We've got our decks ready. We've got all our music ready. So in order to go live on Twitch, all you need to do is press start streaming in the bottom right hand corner here. And then what we'll do is we'll head over to Twitch. So at the moment, you'll see that your page is offline. If you give it a little refresh, you can now see that our stream is now live. So as you can see now, we are now live streaming onto Twitch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just output some audio into the Twitch stream, and then what I'll do is I'll show you the playback which has been stored onto Twitch, so you know that the actual audio works. <music> then when you're finished streaming on Twitch, all you wanna do is just press stop streaming in the bottom right hand corner. Right, so that's how you set up as a DJ on Twitch. I went through adding your audio, adding your webcam, setting up an account, going through all the different equipment that you need, setting up a test streams, going live on Twitch. I think I covered literally everything. If there's something I haven't covered, please put it down in the comments down below and I'll cover it in the rest of my Twitch streaming series. I'm gonna go through things like how to add overlays, how to add 
pop-ups when people follow you etc but if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel you pressing like on this video actually pushes it out to more people and me personally i think streaming is going to be the future for dj so i do suggest that you get a twitch account at least set up and stream at least once a week i stream every single friday at 8 p.m on twitch i really hope that you lot found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please hit that subscriber button down below also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, DJCBTV. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, DJC underscore B. I post there regularly. Like I said, people, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and hit that subscriber button. With that being said, I go by the name of DJCB and we're out.